Hello lads, today we are going to learn how to calculate the basic probability of a particular outcome in a sporting fixture. Step 1. Copy out all the teams in the league you are going to choose. Today we will be using the English Premier League. Next, record the goals or points for each team. This is the goals for and goals against. Also, record the amount of games each team has played. Step 2. We now need to calculate the sum of the goals for, goals against, and games played. Step 3. Take the average for the ranges, for and against. Step 4. Now we must calculate the attack and defence rating for each individual team. We can do this by dividing a team's average for or against by the league average for that metric. Step 5. Now that this is done, we can move on to calculating probabilities for different outcomes with two different teams. For this example, we will do the Manchester Derby, Manchester City versus Manchester United. Step 6. First, we must calculate the expected goals for each team in this game. We can do this by multiplying one team's attack rating by the other team's defence rating by the league average for goals scored in a game. For Manchester City, this will be cell B49, which is their attack rating, times cell C52, which is United's defence rating, times cell B45, which is the league average amount of goals scored each game. Do this for Manchester United as well. Step 7. Now that we have expected goals for each side, we want to find the probability of the three outcomes of this game. These are a Manchester City win, a draw, or a Manchester United win. First, record numbers 1 through 15. These will represent the amount of goals Manchester City could score in this game. Now, 
we must use the Poisson distribution formula in Excel. This formula predicts the number of events that occur during a specific time frame. The function uses the following arguments. X. This is the number of events for which we want to calculate the probability. For this example, it will be zero goals, one goals, two goals, and so on. Therefore, next to the zero goals event for Manchester City, we shall put A82 in the formula. The next required argument is the mean. This is the expected number of events. For this formula, it is the team's expected goals. So for Manchester City, it will be cell, it will be cell B74 in the formula. The last required argument is the cumulative. This specifies the type of distribution to be calculated. Today, we will use false as it returns the probability that the events occurring will be exactly X. So type in the word false for the distribution in the formula. Now that we have done that for the zero goals event for Manchester City, drag it down to the preceding cells. Make sure the formula you have written for zero goals event uses the correct symbols and functions. The sum of the range next to events should be 1. Step 9. Do the same for Manchester United, making sure that the calculations are correct and apply for United rather than Manchester City. Step 10. What we must do next is calculate the probabilities of each club beating the opposite team. To do this, we take the probability of a team scoring a specific number of goals and then multiply that by the sum of the range of the opposite team's probabilities below that specific number of goals. For example, to calculate Manchester City's probability of beating Manchester United while scoring one goal, We must multiply cell B83, which is the probability of them scoring one goal, and then multiply that by the sum of United's range of scores below one. This would be cell E82 to cell E82, as Manchester City can only beat United in this scenario if they score zero goals. For the cell directly below that, the formula would be cell B84 multiplied by the sum of the range cells E82 to cell E83. This scenario describes the probability that Manchester City will beat Manchester United by scoring two goals. Therefore, United can score either zero or one amount of goals. Step 12. Complete this calculation until 15 goals for both sides. In order to get the probabilities of each team winning, simply add the sum of these ranges.
Step 13. To find out the probability of a draw, simply subtract the sum of each winning team from one. Thus, now we know based on our data, Manchester City have a 52% chance of winning, Manchester United has a 26% chance of winning, and a draw is 23% likely. Congratulations, you have now successfully calculated the probability of the outcomes of a sporting fixture. Remember, this can be, be applied to every team sport, not just soccer. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Goodbye.